Historic black and white photographs show crime suspects arrested more than 160 years ago and are believed to be among the oldest of their kind still in existence. The series of images were released by West Midlands Police and are accompanied with handwritten notes of suspected offenders. The discovered pictures include one of Isaac Ellery and another of Catherine Legg which were taken by the then Birmingham City Police in the 1850s. Ellery was convicted in 1853 for stealing gig cushions and given seven years' transportation, a Victorian punishment that saw offenders shipped to the colonies to serve sentences abroad. However, it appears even that failed to change his ways as he was convicted again in 1860 for producing counterfeit coins. Alleged offenses of leg remain unclear. The images provide a glimpse into policing more than a century and a half ago. Also included in the rare snaps is in an image of a photography studio which was created in the lockup offices alongside a dark room in 1891. Before this a nearby photography studio was used instead, where prisoners would be marched to from the Moore Street cells in order to pose for pictures amongst paying customers. The force first started producing its own photographs in the 1870s when those arrested started being snapped while holding a chalkboard with their details. Styles of mug shots changed throughout the period with criminals at one stage being asked to put their hands out in front of their body and then in front of a number of mirrors to picture the various angles of one person. Over the years, advances in technology have seen the introduction of color, computer databases and different styles. However, the practice of keeping a documented photograph of those convicted evidently remains the same. Tell me where the freaks at.